If you've been around the internet as long as for the 1990s or 2000s, you would have known how big this thing called Flash was. A software made by Adobe that helped innovate the internet and contribute to its growth increasing. It was kind of amazing of what it brought, being able to watch or create 2D digital animations, making your own games, then playing them, and making your own music to listen to. All of this brought to the creation to the website which is still going on to this day, Newgrounds. And if you are around during the times of its heyday, well congratulations, your age is showing. Anyways, I'm not going to be talking about the website and the impact it had on the internet for this video. If you read the title, I'm going to be talking about one specific game that I've had experience with when growing up and take a look back to see if it still holds up and maybe shine a light on this stick figure to convince people to maybe give his game a try. This is the Fancy Pants Review. First, I think I should talk about the creators of the game and the development history for it. Fancy Pants was created by Brad Bourne, who didn't have much of a background in art or video games in general, all except from his previous experience of making games with the help of his buddy, Mark Flyke Jr., who, together, the both of them made another game with Macromedia, aka Flash, before the stick figure, titled Snowblitz, which was, as far as my knowledge from researching the development and interview with him from many website publications, was their first game they made together. As for the thought process of the character himself, Brad stated that he, quote, once made a little stick man and he stuck to a loop and just kept looping around, end quote. And thus, was the creation of Fancy Pants, with the game releasing on March 14th, 2006. Well, now that we've got all the history of this game's creation out of the way, let's talk about the game itself. Now, a little disclaimer, I'm going to be talking about the original version online that's more of an emulation. You might be wondering why I'm looking into a web game that is an emulated version of something I can already play for free, and that's because the program Flash, which I've mentioned before, was discontinued by Adobe two years ago, and you really can't play that much of anything without it. And I didn't play the Fancy Pants Adventures for other platforms, cause just like my Rystar review, I wanted to make my experience a little authentic. The game also seemed to run better on this site I'm on than on Newgrounds for some reason. I don't know if it has much to do with my PC or because the game on Newgrounds was made with Flash itself. Sad what happened to Flash. Oh well, let's get started. So. The game starts with the titular character Fancy Pants in a seemingly dark room with nothing but a door in front of you. With a title World 1 on top, you go inside the door and it leads you into a room that's not dark but have 5 doors with other labeled titles. This is basically the main menu where you have options, a door that links you to Armor Games website, the people that help publish this game's trophies, I'll talk about that later, and level select. Yeah, the game just automatically throws you in. But it does show you how you can play with every level you pass. Speaking of levels, let's talk about that. There are a total of three levels in this game, and each of them don't have a specific name. They're just titled Level. Really, Level 1, Level 2, and Level 3. I can only assume that much effort was put on each level's design and programming of the gameplay, which I think now I should talk about. Fancy Pants plays like a 2D side-scrolling platforming game that takes some inspirations from others before this. You can run fast and crouch, then roll into a ball-like form from a slope hill to attack enemies like Sonic the Hedgehog, and jump on top of enemies to squish them, or use to get an extra boost up in the air like Super Mario. I guess you could say the game is played more like Sonic, with its physics momentum type gameplay, and... Well... Anyways, I should also talk about the enemies. You'll encounter a couple of them in the game. Crawling spiders, rats with guns, and these... What are these things? Dragon bird thing? What? 
And as far as gameplay goes, I think Fancy Pants is kind of fun to control. He feels nimble and a little slick whenever he runs on top of a cliff and does sick flips when he gets from place to place. I wouldn't say I had much of a negative experience when playing as him, though I guess I've maybe had a little bit of trouble with some possible input lag when playing the game a second time around. Which, yeah, was kind of annoying. But I think that again, have much more to do with Flash now being dead and it's possibly not being... Optimize well? Or my PC sucks, I don't know. But this didn't really affect my overall experience as much as a whole. The game also have random doors placed around each level that what are technically bonus levels. Most of which contains what I can now talk about, trophies. You can go around each level to enter inside said bonus levels to collect those trophies. That is, if you want to. Yeah, sort of similar to what I've talked about in my Rystar review, you really don't need to waste your time and effort on collecting these. You won't really get much besides some trivia about the developer's info on previous games you worked on, like Standy, a Flash FPS game that was worked on but I wasn't able to find much info for, or the kid from the game I've mentioned before, Snowblitz. I'd say they seem like nice little nods to what came before this, but needless to say, eh, not really worth it. Also because after my first playthrough, I decided to have a go for the second time on the game at collecting all of the trophies but came across this bonus level of having to jump on every spider to get to the top and possibly attain the trophy, which I died about two times and called it quits. It was just more frustrating than challenging to me. But I do love this little secret hidden in the first level that has Brad's name on the mountain. A nice meta reference. There's also some doors that'll just be filled with nothing but these things called squiggles, your health item slash collectible. If you collect all 100 squiggles, you'll attain an extra life. There is also another type of squiggle, these green ones that can almost fill up your health bar, or increase the number of squiggles you've collected to better your chance of gaining an extra life. I've got to say though, I kind of like this other secret I found in the game. You'll see this random box in the first level, and then jump in it, which turns out to be kind of another bonus level. But not just another bonus level, it's one where you attain a power-up moveset. This power-up can make Fancy jump from wall to wall, making it feel more like you're Sonic the Hedgehog before he did the wall jumping. Sort of. And man, it leaves you with these messages from the creator of the game before you're able to wall jump. Telling you how to and then warns you that this whole level will fill up with oil and you need to get out quick cause if you don't, you'll drown and won't attain the power up and you'll have to start over again. <laughs> Which, I did die the first time when playing this, but I wasn't really that annoyed by it. I found it more comically hilarious, like, fuck you asshole. It's not that hard to get passed by, just wall jump to the specific direction you're going to and you're done. Anyways, I'll try to now sum up everything about my feelings on the game's level design. I really love the sketchy aesthetic of the entire game, making it look like something you would draw in an art book of some sort. The levels themselves are alright too, but I might have had some problems when facing the enemies of the game, like this part in level 2 when trying to get through the rat with the gun shooting you, which you have to avoid by jumping over the rat, and when it looks like you're close to hitting him on his head, whoops, it didn't really register that. It's nothing that bad, but it's kind of annoying sometimes. Oh, and the music. Man, I do love it. It's like a combining soothing ambient melody with an upbeat tune.
The music was composed by Geyer Arnold, who, from some research, I couldn't find much about or other projects he's worked on. I guess this was supposed to be his first project he has done with Brad. The other is this game titled Fraser's Ride, which I haven't played, but I can assume it's also fun along with the music being nice. And I think that's about everything. Wait, what? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. This game has a boss fight. Well, more specifically, the only one and final boss fight where you face off against this angry penguin who you randomly fell on top of after interrupting him from his sleep. And... You just go and beat the crap out of him. You know, for the longest time, I've never really gave much thought about this scenario. Fancy Pants, basically what seems to me, broke in someone's house, fell on top of them while they were sleeping, though I guess it could be argued that he didn't mean for that to happen, but at the same time decided to beat him up afterwards. Am I the bad guy in this? What's the story for this game? I don't think I've looked into that. Then again, this is a game with a stick figure that wears pants. I don't think it could be that deep. Oh. Well. I was right. But could you imagine how he could have felt from that? Hey, what the fuck? Uh. Uh. Anyways, as for the boss itself, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is jump on the angry penguin's body three times and avoid his charge attack by either jumping over him or go jumping from wall to the air while he's charging at you. Once you hit him the third time, he's done. Then you win and finish the game. So, that was Fancy Pants, and as a whole, I think it still kinda holds up pretty well. The gameplay is pretty solid, giving me some memories of playing a lot of classic Sonic games, mostly Three and Knuckles, which is my personal favorite. The look of the game is visually pleasing, I do like the music too, though I guess if there's one negative thing I could say about the game, it's that it is pretty short. Yeah, at best, you could get a runtime approximately 10 or 30 minutes of gameplay from Fancy Pants. Maybe almost an hour if you decide to commit to collecting these trophies. From a possible newcomer perspective, this game probably wouldn't look much to them, but to someone familiar, it might hold a special place to your heart. Yeah, the gameplay might not look like anything spectacular nor groundbreaking, but this was a game that used to have kind of a strong impact on the internet and Flash as a whole, and would inspire indie games to be a thing. I know Fancy Pants didn't really start that, but it was more of a contributing factor for many to come afterwards. And hey, here's the kicker, this whole game was made by someone who wasn't even a video game developer. Yeah, believe it or not, as I stated previously, Brad Bourne didn't really have any backgrounds or training in game developing. He only majored in psychology, which is even more shockingly amazing. This game is kind of the living proof of anybody can make a game just when you put your mind to it, or just for the sake of fun. Considering he used to treat making this game, and others before and after this, as a hobby. So, for what it's worth, I should give some thanks to this game and Brad as a whole for what it and other games made from Flash represented. Trying new things, and being innovative, even if they're not a great success. It doesn't have to be the end-all be-all. I would love to look into other Fancy Pants games later on some other time, but not now. I got other plans I'm working on. If you want to play Fancy Pants, you can play it either on a web browser like I did on Newgrounds or any site like I did. Maybe don't.
Or you can get the Fancy Pants Adventures, which includes all three Fancy Pants games all in one on gaming consoles or Steam for PC. Well, that's it for this review. Sorry for how short this was. I just wanted to get some content out there so I could keep you guys a little content for a while. <laughs> yeah, sorry for that lame pun. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed this. And thank you, Fancy Pants, for the childhood memories.